got the key elements for a really good intro. The gate, amazing scenery, and peace and quiet. Bangareras is just literally behind that hill and we are a world away in here, in this little pocket of wilderness. Couldn't call it anything else, absolutely stunning. Uh, I have a few off-road sections. This one is going to continue for another maybe three kilometers, then back on road and then have another off-road section again through a bog, maybe something like this. And uh, going to wind my way up into uh, Porta Cloy um, in the northwest corner. Well, really northern corner of Mayo. Uh, you can't go any further west or north. So it's kind of a, the north, the north, yeah, the north corner. And um, winding my way back down around again, following the coastline and uh, coming close to Belmullet, not going into Belmullet and going to follow the coastline around there again and going to wind my way back to Bangareras. The breeze is good, hopefully the breeze stays with us and from that um, sculpture there on the roadway into Bangor, it, it, uh, the, breeze does, the breeze does kick here, hopefully the breeze stays with us today. So yeah, let's move. Bring out socks, might not be a bad idea. Speed up the drying process. Because I mightn't be, uh, mightn't be through the worst of it yet. Off-road section number two is wet. As you can see, there's no gravel, just a bog. And uh, I've got about another two kilometers to go. I have one done. Looks like civilization over there. And um, the socks are drying nicely. This, this doesn't look too bad. Might be able to cycle some of this. Somebody went to a lot of bother making a lovely little place here with flowers, painting a couple of pipes and putting in a seat and tables and somebody broke it up. I guess the lesson here is don't make it of such breakable material. I mean there's nothing worse than concrete. Make it of steel, weld it up. That thick. I just go down here to Port of Cloy and see what's going on. What a beautiful little place. Oh, look at that water. How inviting it looks. Well, How's things? How's nice things? Day. Oh, lovely. This place has the right idea. Yeah, everything bolted down and made from recycled plastic. Unbreakable. How are my socks doing? Oh yeah. I'll give them another half an hour.
that breeze is so welcome today. Because it's a hot one. No loop to loops, but we got these little things. Um, fruit screamers. All right. I had a section of main road, maybe about 15 k's that I just couldn't divide. But thankfully I'm off that now. So I've got a much quieter road now for the rest of the evening. About another 40 k's to get myself over, I think over there. All right. Somewhere that way. Going off down around there, 40 k's, but ending up over there. Um, it's hot today, but thankfully there is a really strong southerly breeze and uh, really sheltered from it here actually right now. Down at the end of this peninsula right here, we're going to have some fantastic views of Ackle Island and Black Sod Bay. Beautiful area, really, really nice. Now this is what I call a viewing area. Are you alright? Yeah, okay, okay. Um, I get a point against please? Yeah, no problem at all. <coughs> the ice cream was uh, one of the No, the ice cream didn't last long and, <laughs> and, and the view is too good so yeah. there's no point in rushing away. Stunning place here looking on to Black Sod Bay. That's the start of the mountains on Ackle Island, Ackle Island here, and the two outer mountains here. The last mountain is overlooking Keem Bay. And Tullagan Bay, just here now, my right hand side. That's a fast looking car. No, it's not. I really didn't have a lot left there at the end this evening. I guess the heat, I guess the heat really did whack me today, but still did good, 104 kilometers. <sighs> just enough, just enough. <sighs> Absolutely stunning scenery up here in the top northwest corner of Mayo. Generally known as Eris. You have Bangor Eris here, I guess. But I think the whole area is known as, it's generally known as Eris. Remember what that lady said back at the pub? The midges are particularly bad here, she said. And she wasn't joking. When I sat down here first, I didn't think they were too bad. But in the last few minutes, I don't know what's happened. They have kicked in and they have started to chew. So, time to go. <sighs> time to get out of Bangor Airs. So, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.